and welcome back to another video in which I take out and review an old car. Now today I'm very excited because we have a 930 Turbo which is one of my poster cars, I'll be honest, I quite like these. Today is another good day in the office. Now it's a very well known fact that 911s are rear engined which means the boot is in the front but it's like opening a bonnet which means there's a catch and for some reason it's extremely difficult. <sighs> there we go, I, I have practiced that a number of times. Now this isn't just any regular 930, it is a Targa, there's no messing about. Now it's not a full convertible obviously because this bit stays here but this lifts out and I want to see how easy it is to remove this. Come in here, I, I don't know how to do this, I've not practiced. Ah, oh, pull that down, pull that, oh and that lifts that and then do you, oh that was very easy. It's very heavy though, oh dear me. Now I think what you're supposed to do with this is put it in here. Oh, it looks a bit big to go in here. That's not gonna shut, is it? Oh no. You can't drive along like that. Where else are you supposed to put it? Right, well this is a test. How easy is it to get back on? Shut that, delicately. Right, so it has to go that way. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, that's not quite right, is it? Oh, that'll be why. Right. So why is that round the other way? This is like an intelligence test, and I'm not doing very well. And then twist, and then. Oh, there we go. On. So it's much easier getting it off than it is putting it back on. The immobiliser in this car is very fiddly, you have to be patient with it. Now my initial impressions as I'm driving out of the farm is it's quite firm actually. Oh, Let's see what the speed bumps are like. Not too bad actually. Another thing I'm noticing is that there's a lot of trims that rattle and door cards that squeak. There's a lot of noises going on in here. What are the brakes like? Oh, yeah, not bad. Uh, yeah, I will go this way, actually. Now, I'll be honest, I have driven this car once before already, and what I noticed was, when you drive it normally, it just drives like anything else. It's not particularly loud, the gearbox isn't very difficult, the steering's not heavy or really light. I mean, at the minute, I'm doing 40 miles an hour, fourth gear, it's doing about 1,400 RPM, it's just like driving anything else really. The thing I'm noticing at 40 miles an hour is everything's squeaking. The door cards are squeaking, dashboard's squeaking, that door card's squeaking, there's, there's a squeak coming from behind here. Oh, I was supposed to go down there. The tracking's also out on this particular example, but that's not the car's fault. Does this work? Woo! <laughs> I'm not sure that the very small single track B roads that we have around the farm is the best place to test a car like this really. So I'm going to make my way to slightly more open roads because unless you really rev this car out or I suppose load the engine up the turbo doesn't do anything at all. It's hilarious proper old-fashioned 1980s turbo lag and it means that well, I don't think I've hit boost at all in this drive. There's a little section down here. It's just open enough if there's no cars coming where I can demonstrate what I mean. Second gear, 30 miles an hour, floored. Waiting, waiting. Oh! You definitely notice a change when the turbo kicks in. That's for sure. <laughs> that was good. I want to do it again. Apparently, the lady that sold this car to us uh, said she had to get rid of it because she kept getting speeding fines. The way that it's just nothing, nothing, still nothing, and then everything all at once. I think already 
I'm able to tell that this is more user-friendly than the 308. But this feels a lot more normal, I think, is the word I'm looking for. Are you going to let me go? Thanking you kindly. I'm just going to slow down a bit because I don't want to be driving dangerously. I don't condone such behaviour. The thing that I quite like about this is when I first left the farm and while it was warming up, I was driving normally and it just drives like a normal car. You don't think anything of it, it's not intimidating, it just drives. And to be fair, you can do some pretty decent speed and not really come on boost. Whereas if you make, sure, make an effort to load the engine up and wait for the boost, it just turns into something completely different. I can now understand why they call these the Widowmaker. You can probably hear the, the, the roar of the wind noise. And that's coming from like this top, top of the windscreen. When you're at motorway speeds, even now at about 65 miles an hour, it's quite noticeable. I like as well how you can't see half the speedo around the steering wheel. You have to sort of duck and dive in order to see it. I do, however, have some bad news. The clock is incorrect. You might as well weigh this in at this point. I might try first. Should we see what first is like? There's no one behind me. Nearly a standstill. Oh! This is a silly car. Silly car. I think I'm having more fun in this than I was in the 308. I'll be honest, I think that made a better noise. This is easier to drive, more fun, and I think the car I'd rather have. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Boosting, boosting. Oh, you could get in a lot of trouble in this. Oh, it's very direct as well. You, you really feel as though you could chuck it into a corner and it, you'd be all right as long as at that precise moment you didn't come on boost. Then you would immediately be killed. The chairs are surprisingly comfortable as well. Quite supportive, the bolsters are quite narrow. So if you're perhaps a larger person, you may struggle. So then, what do I think of the Porsche 911 930 Turbo 3.3 Targa? This is unbelievably quick. Like the Ferrari, I've never driven something like this before. It's the first 911 I've ever driven on the road, believe it or not. What is it like to live with? Well, the rear chairs are only useful really if you're an amputee. Fuel consumption isn't great. The size and shape of the boot isn't great. None of that matters. Literally none of it matters. I think this is one of the best cars I have ever driven. Just gonna put it out there. I've driven quite a few cars considering I'm only 23. I think this is one of the best. I love it. I might just take it home. I might just have it. Now, if you have a classic car that you'd like to sell, head over to classiccarbuyer.co.uk and if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to like, subscribe, comment on the YouTube channel and I will see you in the next one.